Alright, so I'm going to try and check out this area over here, the dry meadow it's called. If there's enough time in the day. So it hasn't gotten dark yet. And I'm not exactly sure how much time I have. And I think that bear trap is fairly new. Oop. I forgot, I'm almost dead. And I don't think I have any way to heal myself. Where was the wolf's camp? Over here, I think? Yeah. Do you happen to have anything I can heal you, heal with? I don't exactly have much, much uh, money, though. So if I sell that, that's only worth five. Yeah, I can't afford anything. Hmm. So maybe I should go back to... back home just to make sure I don't end up dying. Uh, There's lots of things I should have done. Alright, burned houses. Maybe there's something in here. Damn it! And it sounds like there's more. Uh, there's at least one. And... Night is coming. Yes, night is definitely coming. Hopefully I can make it. And hopefully I don't need to fight anything. Aha. On. Let's get that generator on and inside. Ah, I can make some bandages. Ah. Should I make some more? Takes two rags, though. Hmm. We'll wait. Now we wait. Okay, so one bandage will heal, does heal you pretty good. Am 
Not seeing anything. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hello? Nothing seems to be happening. Somebody did. Somebody's knocking at the door. There's movement out there. And a lot of fog. Oh, hello. Something is lurking in the shadow. Uh-oh. Ow. Can I turn that back on? Or is it just, like, destroyed now? Hello. What are you? A savage. It's a good thing I put that chain trap there. I'm gonna have to replace that. I don't have any other weapons. Ah, morning. Yay, we survived the night. Oh, hello, trader. Now this one's different. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from, doc from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs and takes the huge sack off his back and drops it to the ground, revealing its contents. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods.
Oh, I'll have to. Let me do. Let me go turn off the uh, generator. So after all, we don't need the power at this point. I'd rather save it. Oh. Alright, do we have anything we could... I haven't really been using the bottles, so I can... S I don't know what they're for, so I'll just go ahead and sell them. And the bread. Why not? Takes a step in my direction, pats me on the shoulder. Actually, we do need some more uh, boards and nails. Alright, thank you, good sir. Thank you. Let's see, let's cook up that those mushrooms. And that doesn't do anything else. Alright, uh, workbench. Okay, let's see. I want to repair that. Okay, it doesn't take too much. But let's actually upgrade the workshop. So that opens up single shot pistol and molotovs. Of course, those are the bottles. Lantern. Hmm. That could be useful. Needs bottles, which I just sold. Let's see if we upgrade. I could add more nails for more damage. Why not? Let's see. How do I refill this? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be going out and ranging around some more. Actually, let's go ahead and use the gas. I like to have that generator nice and full. Alright, so that should be, the generator should be good for a couple of days, I think. Oh. And I also need to make another chain trap to replace the one that got tripped. So 
So we'll do that real quick here. Alright, because that was really useful. And we'll call this episode good, I suppose. We'll do some exploration in the next one. Thanks for watching.